Try to get her to the head. And look at that! With this distance, I dropped a Scorch Beast. Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today I have for you updated information about recent changes to the Gauss Shotgun, as now officially it is a first weapon that is a fully hybridized. It is Energy Ballistic Hybrid. For the in-game classification, it is both. It is doing only ballistic damage though, that's not like... Damage is not both. Damage is fully ballistic. The weapon is classified as ballistic and energy, which means, for example, that you can use either alcohol you want. You can go with ballistic bog that increase damage for ballistic weapons, or you can go with high voltage hefe. Whichever one you prefer to craft, you can now use with this weapon. Doesn't matter, both will work. Both will work. You cannot stack them though. You cannot use both in the same time as only one al alcohol can be active at a time. So if you try to use both, the next one will override the previous one, but either one will work. And the same applies to stuff like bubble heads, magazines, like energy weapon specific buffs will work for the Gauss shotgun because it is now energy weapon and a ballistic weapon. But there are even more important changes to the weapon. And I will explain it as we go, as we'll be testing it on the super mutants. Let's highlight the super mutants so we can find them easily. And first change. Finally, it is back to old good times when uncharged attack will still apply half of the base damage to the impact. It used to be zero. Now it is back to half. So you are doing some damage even if you do not charge this weapon, which is really good and even more important when you are using criticals. Criticals now are very efficient, are again very efficient. As you can see, I killed that super mutant. This one survived with a little bit of health. And before the last patch, it used to be the case that super mutants survive critical with a little bit of health, now they don't. And it is worth it again to aim for the head, as half of the damage is the damage from actual impact. Still majority of the damage come from explosion, but it makes a difference. I can showcase on another super mutant. If I change and aim for a torso, I'm doing less damage than if I go after the head. If I go after the head, it will be like two hits. After the torso, it will be like three. Case of super mutant hounds, they luckily so squishy that they die in one. Okay, this guy's shooting for the torso. It's one, two. Oh, he actually died in two. He was squishy. Now, for the head, you see, it's almost almost one. It's much more damage if I aim for the head. I need to wait for them to actually shoot me first, as I have taken one for the team perk. Now again, torso hit. Less than half. Second hit. Yeah. Can survive. Third hit to kill. Now back to the headshots. Back to the headshots. Oh. Yeah, the damage registration of explosions. Still the case. <laughs> Still the case. Consistency will be still the problem, unfortunately, and especially when I try to record the consistency of the damage will be worse than normally. Okay, now I did, now I did proper two hit kill. Yeah, consistency of the damage is a little bit of an issue with weapons like multi projectile, multi explosion, like the Gauss shotgun. So that is still the case, but the damage is clearly improved if you are aiming for the head overall compared to aiming for a torso and critical, it is a one-shot kill. Okay, now if I do the critical for a torso, it still will be one-shot kill because the damage, the damage improvement... Oh, actually not for this one. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. They can survive critical, uncharged critical to the torso, but not always.
This one died. But they cannot survive the critical to the head. So that is improved. That is a good news. They never survive critical to the head. They can survive critical to the torso, critical to the head. Cannot be, cannot be white stand. So that is a good thing. And that still vampire gauss shotgun so vampire still apply to every single projectile that i'm firing so you were able to see i'm basically mortal that's the damage that displays with the full boost full adrenaline running without alcohol i will use alcohol in a moment as well but now thanks to those changes thanks to the weapon carrying always some of the damage, even when uncharged, and still allowed to spam in third person, as you can see. That's the difference between third person and that spamming in first person. Clearly slower. So third person spam is still the thing compared to first person. And I have one more powerful. I have anti-armor one. So we we'll use this anti-armor now. And we go after the Scorch Beast. As you can see, a Krill difference when you go after the scorch beast as well damage when adrenaline expired 821 with perks and in the net rage now i can use high voltage hefe and this damage goes up so let's go after the scorch beast and now the good thing about critical shots at higher distance is those are deadly even when enemy is far away. We'll just charge a little bit on those guys. My adrenaline. Kill some of those scorched. Okay, he ran away. Where is where is the scorch? There there she is. And look at that. If I spam it. Ah I'm doing I'm clearly doing lots of damage. I should reload before attack. Now I can't reload. That's an old bug. If I bash, I can reload again. Your weapon bug out, you just bash. Use the bash. That fixes it. And done. Okay, one more one more tough enemy to show that it actually works. One more Scorch Beast. Okay, we are at another Fissure site. Let's kill some Scorch. They usually die in one shot. Sometimes they dodge a little bit, but usually it is one shot. Yeah, sometimes delayed, because, you know, server lag. Server lag is a thing. Okay, Scorchbeast is flying around. She's coming here. Let's try to get her to the head. And look at that! With this distance, I dropped a Scorchbeast. That wasn't possible before those improvements for the Gauss shotgun that is carrying now some of the charge and can do damage. Can do damage without charging. Just spamming with a criticals, which is really good. Then I'm really happy with that. And about the build, I will upload it in the second video as I did a new build for the Gauss shotgun so I can have a little bit of fun with it since it was buffed before I will switch to Auto Axe. So I'm running around with the Gauss shotgun. The build will be uploaded uh, shortly after this video. So I need to still record it. It's not recorded. So I will do this video now and build video next. So stay tuned if you are interested in it. And that will be everything in here about the changes to the Gauss shotgun. Let me know what you think. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.